I fell in love with somebody that I had nothing in common with. Is there anybody here in that situation want to raise your hand? <laughs> Be a good way to let them know. <laughs> but it, it's, this kind of thing is always good for songwriting, so this is what came out of it. I am at the opera. I don't like the opera, but he loves the opera and I love him. I follow the libretto, I follow the conductor when I follow the plot. My head begins to spin. I don't understand a word. Even when it's English, everyone around me says, this is divine. I don't like the opera. Look, I'm at the opera. Good thing he can't read my mind. How long did you say this opera was? 16 hours, oh, what a treat. I am eating sushi, I do not like sushi, but he loves sushi and I love him. I'm poking with the chopstick at a living, breathing fish stick. Oh my gosh, I think it's trying to swim. Some say eating sushi is like chewing on your own cheek or sucking down a bucket full of tentacled slime. I do not like sushi, look, I'm eating sushi. Good thing he can't read my mind. Mmm, that was an interesting texture. It was kind of like the suction cup off the bottom of a bathtub mat. Yeah. Yeah, I have to stop here because I wrote this in the early 90s, and you can imagine I sang it many, many places. And one of the places I sang it is the open mic every Monday night at Birdland in New York City, Jim Caruso's cast party. And there was a guy at the bar named Rene Ruiz from a vocal group called Toxic Audio. And he called me over after I sang that song, and he said, you know, you should write a version of that song for a man to sing, because it's not just women who do stupid things in the name of love, men do too. Is that true? Amen. <laughs> Anybody here ever do anything stupid in the name of love? <laughs> stupid in the name of love. <laughs> Well, I took the challenge. I hope you guys will like it. This is Good Thing She Can't Read My Mind, A Dude's Eye View. I am at a shopping mall. I do not like shopping malls. She loves shopping malls and I love her. Each time she stopped to look at shoes, I'm reacquainted with the blues. I'm sure there are men here who will concur. I wanted to stay home today to watch the Houston Oilers play a monumental pigskin contest of the manly kind. But I am at a shopping mall. I hate shopping malls. Good thing she can't read my mind. Sure, I'll hold your purse while you try that on. <laughs> no, I don't think that dress makes your butt look big. I am at a craft fair. I do not like craft fairs. She loves craft fairs and I love her. Origami topiary face painting scrapbooking and her favorite, dream catchers. What the hell's a dream catcher? What the hell is decoupage? Morris dancing, I need something I can hide behind. I can't stand craft fairs. Look, I'm at a craft fair. Good thing she can't read my mind. Make my own soap? How did you know that was my dream? <laughs> I am not complaining, I'm just making observations. Expanding your horizons is a sign of sophistication. Now I'm in a Pilates class every Sunday morning. Though sometimes thoughts of boxing overcome me without warning. I am at a chick flick. I do not like chick flicks. She loves chick flicks and I love her. Oh my God, it's a double bill. Now I'm really feeling ill. It's beaches, followed by the way we were. <laughs> I am in an awful mood. I'm eating awful food. All I wanted was to sit back and unwind. Instead, I'm at two chick flicks. I hate chick flicks. Good thing she can't read my mind. Tomorrow night is Terms of Endearment and Fried Green Tomatoes. How lucky can one man get? So if you see me at a chick flick, see me in a craft booth, see me in a shopping mall wallowing in despair, don't feel sorry for me, I must be in love. Why in the hell else 
Would I be there? Before I met her, life was dull. I never took any chances, but now I leap at every opportunity I find. I don't like chick flicks or craft fairs or shopping malls, but maybe I will in time. Maybe I will in time. Join your book club. <laughs> I would love to. Oh, <laughs> 